Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your computer to defrag every single time it goes into its screensaver mode. We do this with a utility called JK Defrag. If I go to Google and search for JK Defrag, just JK D E F R A G, and click I'm feeling lucky, it goes to the JK Defrag web page and we click on the downloads area and then there's JK defrag free hard disk defragger and optimizer designed to run automatically every day in the background so I'll go ahead and click that and the one you want is most likely the one for 2000 XP in Vista so that's version 336 if you're running a 64-bit operating system there's also a 64-bit version and if you're interested in the source code there's also a source version but most of us are going to want the first choice and when we open it up now uh, I'm using WinZip but if you're using 7-zip or something like that that's fine too what we need to pay attention to is JKD frag screensaver.scr that's the screensaver file itself the executable and I believe that's it uh, let me just check real quick on the uh, let me just open this up real quick it should give me instructions here okay optimizer download install okay and okay here we go J jk defrag screensaver scr and jk tch, can't talk jk defrag screensaver.exe move or copy these two files into the windows folder it will automatically become visible in the list of screensavers and can be used just like any other screensaver. Note, on the Vista screensaver only works with user account control turned off. So if you're using Vista, bear that in mind. But I'm using XP here, so I don't have to worry about that. So all I need is these two files here. JK defrag screensaver.exe and JK defrag screensaver.scr. So what I do is I can just extract those and I can put it into my Windows folder, C drive, and then Windows, and then just put them there. When you do that, let me just move this out of the way a little bit. I go to my display properties where the screensaver is, and there's JK Defrag Screensaver. Now, the cool thing about JK Defrag Screensaver in the settings is that there's by default it's set up this way it says do not run defrag if it was run less than four hours ago so if it ran within four hours ago it won't start running it again and it says what screensaver do you want to run once jk defrag is finished i just have mine set to blank but if you have a screensaver that you like to see what you can have it do is that when the defrag is finished it just goes to whatever other screensaver that you have installed that's it there's really not much else to it um, I have mine set to 30 minutes because it just blanks out. I have mine set to blank out the screen anyway. And if you leave your, if the type that leaves your computer on overnight, what will happen is that your computer will defrag itself every night. And it's free. It happens completely in the background. And it hardly takes up any system resource at all. So I would recommend getting it. Go ahead and JK defrag screensaver it. Just get it, install it, put those two files in the Windows folder, select it as a screensaver. Go to the settings, set the uh, screens ever you want to run afterwards, if any, and uh, set the time on it when you want to run it. That's it. Nothing else to it. Take it easy.